For this example, we've been asked to find the three numbers satisfying w cubed is equal to 1. In other words, what are the three values of 1 to the power of 1 third? So I'll start by saying that 1 can be written as e to the 2 pi i k, where k has the values of 0, 1, and 2. Now, we don't have 1, though. We want 1 to the power of a third. So 1 to the power of a third, we will write as e to the 2 pi i k over 3. And that's just using our laws of indices. So our first solution is when k is equal to 0. And when k is equal to 0, I get e to the 2 pi i times 0 over 3 which is equal to e to the 0, which is 1, which is what we were expecting. What you may not have been expecting, though, were the two other solutions. When k is equal to 1, we find that we get e to the 2 pi i times 1 over 3, which is e to the 2 pi i over 3, which we can write as cos 2 pi over 3 plus i sine 2 pi over 3. Now evaluating these we get minus a half plus root 3 over 2i. So we have another solution to 1 to the power of 1 third. And we get a second, well, third solution, a second solution we may be not expecting, is when k is equal to 2, we get e to the 2 pi i times 2 over 3, which is e to the 4 pi i over 3, which we can write as cos of the 4 pi over 3 plus i sine. 4 pi over 3, and that is equal to minus a half minus root 3 over 2i. So we've now got these two solutions that we may not have been expecting, and we could roughly sketch these on an argon diagram. We get the solution, which is 1. We get a solution here, which is minus a half plus root 3 over 2i. And we also have a third solution, which would be around here, minus a half minus root 3 over 2i. And you can see the angle between all of the solutions is 2 pi over 3. So we now have found our three solutions, and all three solutions lie in this example on a unit circle. And the angle between each solution is 2 pi over 3.